Hi, I'm Kite, and these are five things that I cannot live without. Starting with these sunglasses, which are absolute. Oh, oh, oh! All right, all right. We're doing software productivity things. In that case, MacOS Spotlight, like the native Spotlight on MacOS, is one of my favorite, absolute favorite. Fine. Use Raycast on macOS, get the Raycast Pro, get the Raycast Teams, get the Raycast AI, get the Raycast Merch, get the Raycast Candle, get the Raycast Lights, Coffee Grinder, Raycast for Life, Raycast Tattoos, Raycast, what do we have here? Coffee Mug. Raycast is the best. Is that fine? Is it good? Jesus. Alright, so. Recording is hard, huh? Yeah, it is. So many freaking things. It's fun, mate. It's fun. Make sure your hair is all right. I don't have enough to make sure it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop flexing your fucking hair. <laughs> I've been following you for a long time and I know that you're into productivity. If anything, you're into like hyper productivity. Way too deep, yeah. <laughs> you have a very unique way of thinking how you use your computer and the way that you like to limit yourself. And so I'm especially excited to see how you use Raycast. So, yeah, man, like, first of all, I'm just curious, like, how long have you been using it? I think around year, year and a half, probably, I've been using it. Like, people post it on my Discord, and I hate new hyped products so much. Yeah. And I'm always looking at them with skepticism, and I'm like, I would never switch. Like, I wouldn't. And it took me, you know, just trying it and the entire process being super smooth, and I'm like, yeah, I'm switching. Like, how did you go from uh, starting to use Raycast? Were you using something else before? I was an Alfred user for the longest time if it wasn't for raycast i don't know like what i would want like if someone came to me and asked me hey what would you want alfred to do more i would be like nothing it, like already does so many things but now just thinking about it is like a very ancient thought for me it's like some it seems like some legacy mac os software and you compare to the design and polish and everything of raycast to me the one thing that stood out and i think um apps who do this like will always be ahead of other apps is the developer api and especially that you can write extensions and other things with react i'm known for hating clis like i i hate people who create a cli in 2024 like they'll be like i just made a cli for checking the weather and i'm like why is the worst possible interface <laughs> and on the other hand as much as i hate clis i've made one last week because creating a ui for something like it's a way longer route like yeah. with a cli you can be done in like an hour and creating a ui you would have to choose i don't know an electron app or a tori app or whatever it is is like way more complex and i think raycast sits in between and lately like i had this thought like i've been uh, having calls with a friend talking about like I have some scripts that I made for um, like the terminal that convert like an MP3 file. When I would record my podcast, I would get an MP4 file and then I need it converted to an MP3 file. And then I would need also the same file to generate thumbnails from that file. And I'm like, do I make a CLI or whatever? And let, that's like the quickest thing. And after using it for a while, you need to go to terminal, go to the script and then drag the finder file and then press enter in order to run the thing. And I've been calling my friend. I'm like, man, how about we do something that's like UI above the sitting above the CLI and he's like you're talking about Raycast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you normally use your Mac? What's your sort of like day-to-day -day usage of your computer? I don't use Raycast wallpapers. Is this video gonna be cancelled? I can see. Yeah I'm sorry didn't prepare enough <laughs> for the video but I usually use one space and I'm doing the hyper key to switch between apps and it baffles me when I see people still using alt tab to switch between apps. It's like hyper key W is WebStorm, hyper key S is Sizi, hyper key B is Benji, M okay. is music for Spotify. So usually just one space switching between the things. Okay. Raycast being used all the freaking time. Not sponsored to say this. <laughs> Since you've been using Raycast, um, you've, you've kind of mentioned that you built some extensions. Yeah. You most recently built an extension for one of your products. Right. Do you want to talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, for sure, sure. So I'm making this app called Benji for people that don't know. It's like a life OS which combines every other app under the sun. Like you have like to-dos, planner, fasting, hydration. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I got to do things by, you know, just clicking around. And honestly, I've been procrastinating on the Raycast extension for way too long. Yeah. I actually had to start working with a friend and he got annoyed enough. He's like, I just want to add a to-do from anywhere. I'm going to make a Raycast extension. Yeah, right. And he, when I saw the code for the Raycast extension, I'm like, huh. This is not bad. We can we can do it for 
every feature in Benji right now. So right now, not all the features are supported, but I can go here and you can see if I type just Benji, we have a bunch of things like creating a planner event, logging a meal, creating a to-do, Benji stats, hydration, and, mm. and to-do. So we can start with, I don't know, logging hydration, I can say 300 really I don't know how much it was the coffee that you gave me here, yeah, but like let's 200, say 300 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And now it will add that and it will also give you like a little um, hydration progress for the okay, day. So how is it day, going? Right. Yeah, so if, if I go back to, uh, to Benji here and if I search for hydration, you will see that coffee has been logged right now from the Raycast I really extension. Like that. Next we have to-dos, which is like when I saw Max's thing, I'm like, I have to, you know, one-up that because it's like previously like the adding to do thing wasn't smart so you would just have to select all the fields okay and now you can be like i don't know buy groceries tomorrow 3 p.m and like oh, this auto nice. plans and you can see project let's say benji and it's an errand and this auto populates like the tags thing you would oh, auto populate you don't even have to type the whole thing so that's that um we have planner events so i can say planner planner event and i can say dentist tomorrow 3 p.m. and I can choose a list, let's say personal. I think this also works here. You can do like work oh, or nice. personal in the tags. And yeah, we have logging meals. I use this all the time okay. because I hate meal tracking in any other app because I have to pull my phone and write the thing and whatever. Yeah, 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 and yeah. since I did this in Recast, like I started logging my meals way more because it's like okay. command you space, log a meal, what did you eat, bananas, enter, and it just goes and it adds it to, to the thing. Like when you build a product like Benji, uh, it's great to have an app for it. You have to, right? Yeah, like, there's no yeah, way not yeah, to. Yeah. The moment that you have an app, if, whether it's a web app or even like a, uh, say, a native wrapped app yeah, or whatever, yeah. there is an extra layer, right? There's an extra obstacle for yes. the users to go into it and do something yeah. with it. I feel like the moment you expose some of these things through Raycast, yeah. then at least Raycast users, they can interact with your app Cast. so much yeah, quicker, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. And as a result, they will use it more. I do the same for Linear and GitHub and Spotify. I almost don't open those apps anymore. Yeah, the Linear one was a game changing for me because that's when I learned you can also do like command shift space and then command four. Like I, when you hold command, you see these numbers mm -hmm. and I didn't know that. And I'm like, this is even faster. I don't even have to find yeah. it. I just do command shift space, command four. And I've never reported more bugs in my life. People in Slack were like, what the hell is happening with yeah. you? I'm like, I found the extension. Yeah. I was super hesitant. Mm -hmm. Even as a big fan of Raycast, when you introduce Raycast AI, whatever, I'm like, ah, oh, no, they're gonna try to want it. Don't take my free thing away. It's like similar thing to GitHub Copilot. Everyone mm -hmm. loved it until it was paid. They're like, it's not that useful. <laughs> it's not that useful. I can write my own code. So I was like that with Pro. But then what got me is the syncing, not even the the AI. Mm. The syncing is hidden behind, behind the Pro plan, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I need the syncing. The themes are kind of nice. And I guess I need a good AI client. So I started using it. And I was super hesitant to upgrade to GPT-4 for the longest time yeah. because I'm like, no, like just let me use my own key. And I knew that you don't want me to use my own key. So I started using an external client for AI, which shows you how much money you spend per conversation. Okay. So I just have a couple of conversation about development, pasting big files. And then when I'm done with it, I look at it and I'm like, this was dollar and a half. Yeah. So you have 10 of these per day and I work 20 days of the month. Yeah. It's like way, way, way more expensive. I don't want this to sound as a shill because I was like super opposed to giving you money for the extra AI things until I just, even when the price of a chat was 0, 0.000 something dollars, just seeing that mm. and like, oh, maybe let's not chat, chat anymore. Like it's enough, you know, I don't want to waste more money. And this yeah. way it's like, okay, I paid you and now I can use it as much as I want. You're not going to exactly. limit me. So it's like way better deal. and. You got me in and the you end. get to sync it, man. And you know what? Very yeah, soon, nice. yeah. very soon, when we have the iPhone app, mm -hmm. that is also gonna sync on your phone. So that is the thing I can't wait because That's gonna often be huge, yeah. I've got some assistance on my AI chat, mm -hmm, some mm -hmm. predefined ones. Yeah. And you know, sometimes I'm out and about, and I'm like, man, I just want to open my Where's AI my chat, you know, and yeah. I can't <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think Quicklinks is a bad name, maybe. Because okay. you think about links, yeah, and I didn't realize a picture can be a link. Like okay. I have my trash schedule, let's say, I have a picture, like they deliver this paper trash schedules for the year, and I just take a picture of it. And anytime like I need to reschedule my paper trash or whatever, mm. I need to find it on my phone or have it bookmarked in somewhere on my phone. Okay. And I figured you can bookmark it in Raycast as a quick link. So now I can just go here and do like trash schedule and it's a quick link to a picture. So now I can, like this is the fastest I can get to, okay, next time they're coming April 10th and I just close it. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, or like my passport. I, I cannot show my passport, but like so many times or an avatar, like someone will be like, hey, send us your avatar for a conference and I have it right here. I think the name quick links doesn't imply that you can do, you know, 
pictures as quick links. And I for me, it was a mean. game changer. So I, I started pinning way too many things. So we talked AI, we talked quick links. Yeah, this is the, <laughs> this is a weird quick link. Like once I start going deep in something like Raycast deep links, now I'm gonna start doing quick links for super weird stuff. Like okay. I hated Googling, like we would watch a show. Let's say we watch, I don't know, Succession. And after it, I want to like see the Reddit discussions or the episodes. Mm -hmm. But just Googling that part, I'm like, this can mm -hmm. be a quick link. So I okay. did this. You can do like a Reddit show discussion and it shows like show season and episode. Oh, wow. And I can do like succession, season three, episode nine, enter. And it just Googles the result and I can just go to it immediately. So it like saves that's cool. a minute, let's hear a few Dude, seconds. That's awesome. But you know what's coming in quick links that's going to make it even more powerful? Select fields. Yes. Really? Yeah. Cool. I mentioned that on Twitter. Not just select, but like... Advanced. Basically, advanced placeholders that you can add. So okay. it's going to be similar to how placeholders work in snippets, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but for mm -hmm. quick links. For quick links, yeah, yeah. that's cool. I think that quick, quick links have a lot of potential. Instead of making an extension, like they're like, I see them like mini extensions. Yeah. You find 100%. some annoying part of your life and you just make a quick, pun intended, quick, yeah. quick link and love them. I don't know if you've seen um, in version 1.61 and version 1.70, we had a bug in this auto update feature. So since yeah. the beginning of like Raycast, yeah. Raycast has always been updating itself. Mm -hmm. And it means that we have like 90% plus 90% of our users always on the latest version. But because we accidentally have this bug in one 1.69 and 1.70, everybody's stuck with those two versions. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. And the only way to get out of there is everybody literally opening up Raycast and going check for updates, check for updates. and then manually update it to get onto version okay. 1.71 or mm -hmm. by the time this video is out, 1.72, 73. And then from there, it's going to mm. update itself again. So this is a bit of a gnarly bug. Yeah. We're like, how can we communicate that? Because for the first time ever, people have to update manually. Manually, yeah. And it's such a tricky one. Having said Everyone that- Everyone had- Are you past. on the latest version? I have no idea, honestly. Let's check it out. If you go about- <laughs> uh, Can't I do check for updates? Yeah. There Downloading, go. AI chat presets. There you go. I'm not so, sure if I was- But this one we literally released right now. Carry on, creating Google Meets. I use this because like every video calling app is like horrible, but like create meet is super useful for me. Create meet, mm -hmm. enter, and it just gives me the link and I can just shoot it to someone nice. way yeah. faster than, you know, like I started preferring it over Zoom and the other things. Cool. As I got annoyed with creating a link, I'm like, there must be a Raycast extension for this. And there is. 2FA codes, game changing. So I have this, to, no, it tries to compare. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. View yeah. Two, 2FA codes, this is super useful. Why is it useful for my setup? I couldn't block iMessage until recently because I would need 2FA codes sometimes. And for me, it's a distracting nice. app because I have some friends and some I have to leave it on, but also I would go deep in conversation with someone. I'm like, oh, I gotta block this. And this exact friend is like, you know, you can use the Raycast 2FA codes. And I'm like, nice. this is it. Very good I friends. can have it blocked, but I can still have my 2FA codes yeah, when I need yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. perfect for my work computer. Then you create a snippet that replaces at Raycast with oh, I Raycast did. app. I did because I, I screwed up so many times. Yeah. Like that guy's famous by now, the Raycast. Hey man, app. give us your hand. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe like when I saw searching emoji with AI, I'm like, oh, they, they don't know what to invent anymore. I'm like, yeah. this is the greatest invention ever. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Shout that. out Thomas for that one. Oh, I was man. skeptical, man. Yeah. I was a bit like, you know, we don't need AI for everything. But turns out we definitely yeah. need AI to search for, emoji. for emojis. Yeah, I it's gotta so add that good. to Benji because a lot of times I will add a calendar event yeah. and I'm like, I don't know what the emoji is for yeah. changing your tires or whatever. Like, give me something smart. Yeah, so it's a it's a good use case. Yeah. I was super opposed to using a clipboard manager, okay. external clipboard manager. Right. I never trust them. I'm like, where is my clipboard going? At least now I know, oh, it goes in this office in Barcelona. Exactly. Pedro has it's it, safe. right? It's safe. Because you get like, you build your trust in the entire product. And now when you throw in features that I wouldn't use in another app, I'm like, okay, in your app, I'm going to use clipboard. That's cool. There's so many memes. Like you wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, I had something in my clipboard. I erased that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. your reaction was like, guys, just yeah. use the clipboard history. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of times I have a feeling, do you get this when, when you copy something before you paste it? Do you have a feeling like a nagging thing in your brain that you have something in your in your history? No. I, I do have it. I'm on the edge until I paste it somewhere that it's safe. 
Yeah. I, I'm doing things and I'm coding and I'm like, uh huh. And okay, I paste it. And I'm like, okay. Like I get a little oh, bit. Wow. That's and the cool. more I use clipboard history with Raycast, the more that this feeling leaves me. I'm like, right. okay, it's copied. It's there, and yeah, I don't need yeah, to yeah. wait for it to be. Yeah, to be maybe that's why I don't feel like that because I've been using clipboard history for a long time now, even before I was using Raycast. Oh yeah, I wasn't. And yeah. I, man, that's like the one thing I can't not use. So you wanted me to roast Raycast, but obviously I don't have enough points. My points are very fixable. Yeah, but you know, this is your feedback and yeah. uh, we appreciate it. This candle, trust me, there's something <laughs> in this candle, like the smell of it. You come here with complaints, I'm like, where, where, where's my Apple Note for complaints? It's That's what I'm saying, man. Cannot use Raycast within Raycast, this is killing me. Oh, yes. You know it, right? Yeah. I'm doing something and I'm like, oh, let me just go, oh, I killed Raycast. So yeah. it's like, what would you do about that? I've been thinking about it and I don't have a fix. Okay. I mean, multiple windows would be too much. It's tricky, right? Because the things that you want to use in Raycast would yeah. typically be maybe an, the emoji picker. Yeah. Uh, the snippets, clipboard history. Clipboard history uh, snippets. Yeah. If you have a keyword, you can expand it automatically, but you might not have a keyword yeah, yeah, for I every don't snippet. Them, yeah. We've explored quite a few solutions to this. Like we've got some Figma files with a bunch of explorations. Okay. I hope that's something we can tackle relatively soon, but it's a delicate thing. We yeah. want to make sure that when we are ready to do it, we're confident with that decision. This shouldn't be a thing. When I take a photo, let's take a photo here and me do the thing. Now, like it screenshots Raycast with the label and the whatever, like of that course, has to be man. configurable. Of course, you gotta have that brand awareness. I don't think it sells the brand as much as you think it does. <laughs> If it was only the the wallpaper, maybe with a little like this type of branding in the corner, like a watermark type of thing. I yeah. would even share them that way because yeah. I'm lazy and I would share them that yeah, way. Yeah, but yeah. when I see like I want to take a picture and the UI see, and I'm like I'll never use this screenshot ever. I... But, Are we doing um, some outro thing? No, no, we don't do outro here. No? No. I mean, how will we just wrap it up? And we just wrap it up. Yeah. Cool. We wrap it up. Cheers. All right. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>